Hello, welcome back to the Ogre, the old Git Reacts, reviews and occasionally reminisces. Um, if you were here last time, you'll know that um, I'm taking us on a musical journey to describe the pivotal points in my musical um, experience. Um, last time it was the damned and neat, 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 and uh, I spoke about how being 13 years of age and finding a new musical genre coinciding with the surgeon and uh, testosterone and adrenaline you get at that age how exciting those times were we're moving on a bit now uh, the second part talks about um, me being late teens and got enough hair on my chin to stroke in contemplation at life's more serious matters um, those of you that are old enough you'll remember that around that time the uh, spectre of a nuclear armageddon wasn't too far away and discussed Fairly often in popular culture, uh, and you know, particularly musicians um, sang, wrote about it all the time. And one of those bands that um, had it as at their core was Discharge, um, an anti-war band of that era. Um, and they, uh, you know, they put it over better than most. To be honest, um, now Discharge are a band I listened to previously, well, since their beginning, really. Um, they were raw, they were fast, um, same message, and the, the anthemic nature of it sort of grabbed you and um, had you singing along. Uh, and that's a good way to get you interested in, in the politics uh, and awareness of, the, of such a situation. However, um, even the YEP didn't prepare me quite for what uh, what I experienced and what I thought when I heard uh, hear nothing see nothing say nothing their sort of first album proper um, we'll talk about the impact of it afterwards um, suffice to say it's probably one of the most impactful records um, of all time within its field um, I can waffle on for a while about this, but the best thing to do is listen to the, the song for me that typifies this album most, The Blood Runs Red. Let's have a listen, and uh, it's a short song, so I shouldn't need to interrupt it, and we'll talk about it at the end. Hold on to your hats, boys and girls. <laughs> Wow, you know, even after all the this time, I mean, I wouldn't say I've not heard this for ages because I listen to uh, this album fairly regularly, but the impact, wow, um, and that's what we'll talk about. Um, I don't think, correct me if, if, if I'm wrong, um, but my opinion is that, well, I know for sure, there's nothing like this when this came out, and it was a hard listen, um, even if you were sort of used to uh, the more hardcore punk rock of the time. Um, it just sort of took you back, took you totally back. You know, you, you, I was just gobsmacked when I heard it. Um, for various reasons. I mean, uh, it's a serious matter 
but it's an earworm, you know, that <laughs> the lyrics are simple to the point. They're not telling a story, that they, they, they are they're making statements and um, they're hard to ignore, particularly if you were, you know, you were alive at the time and, and, and recognised uh, the subject matter and the import of it. <laughs> there. Emphasis when you need it. Um, <laughs> um, but Discharge Before, sort of their punk was punk rock. Um, Discharge around why I was changing, but Discharge with this album, uh, you know, there was no rock in it at all. It was just hardcore punk, you know, as we describe it nowadays and as they did then. But um, so many things about this album, and if we, if we use a song as an example, there was that bass rumble, you know, it wasn't picking out a room, it was just a seismic hum below the music and um, the guitar, you know, I often listen to the guitar riff on this song and, and, go, and sort of contemplate, you know, or think about black metal, which is my main staple nowadays, and um, that icy riff, there's <laughs> some of those band frostbitten black metal bands that uh, that have been and, and and still exist would have killed for a riff like that, you know. And um, I'm sure with some of them, uh, that riff features in some way, um, which sort of brings me on to to this discharge's influence. Um, it spreads far and wide, doesn't it? You know, the amount of bands in, in mainly in the heavy metal, metal, grindcore, and punk, obviously, um, genres reference Discharge all the time and cover them all the time. And there's even music that has nothing to do with guitar-based um, music that, that, that covers Discharge. Um, I'm sure I've heard jazzy type stuff using Discharge's um, songs uh, in the past. Um, you can only say wow, you can only say wow about this song it, and, and about the album in general. It, it probably took me quite a few listens to actually comfortable in listening to it. It was it was hard at the time, uh, you know, an extreme is subjective, but um, I'll go as far to say that it, it was probably the first extreme music record that wasn't experimental. Um, obviously there were bands uh, that were experimenting with noise and the like but the traditional band structure if you will this was this for me was the first extreme music album um, it knocked quite a few musical music journalist uh, socks off there but I remember a five star review in one of the mu British music music papers um, the guy absolutely detested it he could <laughs> He didn't like, or didn't enjoy it, I should say, one iota. Yet it gave, he gave it five stars because um, he recognised its import, for one thing, because this, this was a new sound, make no bones about it. And he recognised the impact it made, and he, uh, you know, both as a, as a point of influence, but also in its literal sense. Um, and, you know, it, it, he wasn't even begrudging in giving it five stars because he says that's what it deserved even though he didn't like it one little bit uh, and as time has gone by when you talk you know I sometimes look at the occasional top 100 punk albums in, in certain, you know on the line I don't read newspaper new, new music press anymore but um, I see it online and sometimes this doesn't even figure and if it does it's way down the list and you're thinking you people know nothing um, but that's my opinion of course um, it was a glorious noise but it wasn't a racket this is it this is incisive and um, to the point it is surgical music it, it cuts through the bollocks and delivers its meaning and its intent straight in it, it, it's great um, 
I'd like to say times have become less dangerous since uh, Discharge released this album. I'm not too sure that they have. Um, you know, that's a, a topic for other forums, but um, yes, sheer magnificence, this album. I can listen to it again and again and again and never get bored, which is why it's a pivotal moment for me in music. Um, next, there's nothing more I can say about it. It's, you know, you listen to it and it says all it needs to say. Um, next time we meet, and I hope we do, um, things are going to be a little bit different. They're going to be a little bit more romantic. I hope to see you then. <laughs>